Hi guys, it's Vitoria, the community manager for Effect House in the Latin America region. And today I'm here to teach you how to create your own makeup effects with your own assets and making your effects more original. First of all, we are gonna open Effect House website and let's click on learning resources. Let's click on our library and click on assets. We're gonna start downloading our 2D face mask reference. Let's click the file to unzip it and this is what we get. Let's open this image on Adobe Photoshop and as you can see we have a lot of layers. It is divided by face mask, eyelashes, eye, lip and face. And you can see we have some different models so we can try on our face mask. In order to create our own assets, we need to be uh, creating new layers accordingly to the face region. Let's start drawing the blush and click on the brush and adjust it. I'm gonna click in the brush and adjust the size and also the amount of color that will come out. And I love to use the symmetry. It will make it easier to draw in the face. So I'm just choosing some color, putting a little red for the brush. And when you're drawing, you can see the symmetry comes perfectly. To make it softener, let's click on top, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and let's adjust it. The way we'd make it a little bit more soft. When you're happy, just click on OK. And let's start with a new layer to start drawing the contour of the face. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller and let's change the color as well. The process will be similar. I'm just gonna start drawing the nose shape and also I'm gonna draw under the eye line. And also every time I'm doing the Gaussian blur as well. So it will be a little bit more soft under the eyes the same process and I'll be merging both layers one step that I recommend you not to skip is to rename all the layers so you won't be confused when you transfer every file to effect house now let's create a new layer for our lip asset so I'm gonna draw two layers of it so the first one will be the base I'm gonna just choose a red and after that I'm gonna draw the outline of the mouth with a darker red as we are always using the blur and the Gaussian blur filter um, don't be worried about drawing it perfectly because after it will be just the shade of it but at least this will be the base of it and after we are gonna draw the outline so let's use the perfect amount of it and this will be the outline layer for it when we merge both layers it will be perfect and for the lips I'm gonna use this lip shine together and right now let's start with the eyeshadow part let's jump to the eye and create a new layer for it and as today I'm doing a cosmic makeup, let's choose a bright pink. I'm gonna start drawing the outer and the inner part and use the Gaussian blur as well. I'm always using the symmetry as you can see, because for me it is easier. As you can see, I am creating every time a new layer and adjusting the eyeshadow. And let's start with a dark blue, so we can mix both layers and create a uh, beautiful eyeshadow and a cosmic look for it here it is the step as you can play with your creativity so let's just play with the colors and create something beautiful as i love something artistic now i'm gonna just put a lot of pink on the face uh, this will be a little bit of contouring but just to add a base a pink base under the eye mask after drawing this pinkish base let's just drop the opacity down and now let's just import the brush that is inside the folder the zip folder that I send you so this will be the glitter 
brush that we're going to use so we can draw some stars in our face as you can see this file came with a lot of different brushes but right now we are using the 26 one and right now let's just create a new layer and start to draw some different sizes stars I love to play with the size of it so we can create a different um, look for it and let's create different uh, layers for different stars and right now I'll be just changing the eyeliner color so it will match our eyeshadow in this case as I'll be merging all the eyeshadow uh, layers so it will be just like a mask I'll be transferring for the face mask part of it and as you can see when we just click on it and drop in the other part it won't come exactly on the same size of the face so we just need to adjust it and right now we can merge the layers uh, accordingly the way we think it will be easier to transfer for effect house as we are not using the eye art board anymore we just need to delete the the bright part of the eyes right now so we can start to uh, save our own assets we need to save each file separately as soon as we have our layers saved we can open effect house and create a new project let's start importing all the files that we created and then we are going to use the face mask under makeup we need to assign each layer created by each face mask and here it is extremely important to pay attention to the face region that we are applying our layer in here you can feel free to play with the face region to play with the opacity and also with the blend mode and then we are creating our cosmic makeup one advice that i love to give is to play around with the options that we have play with the asset studio as well and also with the add component and add interaction and right now i'm just finalizing to assign each layer and when you're happy with your project you just need to submit it to effect house hope you could understand more about creating your own asset it's always important to have fun and play around be creative and i would love to see your new creations